Uh, let me just give you an example that uh, I, I uh, work for uh, Tara Communication where we are the tier one ISP uh, globally and then we have migrated successfully since last three years we have been uh, uh, successfully working on that. But we, it's not that we did not go through the risks or we did not go through the concerns or the issues what uh, uh, all of us uh, as a part of the discussion we did speak about it. But that's having said that, is there a business or is there a business uh, uh, going forward uh, on a standalone basis for uh, V4 to V6 uh, migration? Uh, I don't think it is more specifically related to uh, V6 itself, but it is more of uh, futuristic, uh, rather existing address availability itself. Is that a problem? If if it is, if all of us together are convinced that. Um, number of addresses or number of address books is an issue, then I think there is a, a good case for what we need to do going forward as such. And the second point which uh, I, I thought it was one of the very, very good uh, discussions, enhancements of uh, participation, whether it is public, whether it is uh, uh, role of IGF itself, and then how the government itself should be able to help on this. Then we, I can uh, say that from uh, both uh, uh, service providers and as well as from uh, the government, I think we sh there is no single uh, lead or a lag because there, you cannot say that who needs to take the lead on what and then it needs to be a giant, though giant will never get into a, a single ownership, but still in this case, I think it needs to be a joint ownership which we need to drive it together. Anyway, thanks a lot once again. It has been a fantastic uh, discussion and uh, have a good evening to all of you.